Before I get started, I just want to remind everyone to hit all of the smash like, subscribe things. Okay, let's carry on. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Perfect Edition Comics. I'm your host, Perfect. And today, hey, hey, we are looking at collected edition new releases for February 2021. Let's do this thing. And first up, we got Marvel Comics. And we're starting with the pick of the month. This is the Star Wars Dr. Aphra Omnibus Hardcover Volume 1. That's a mouthful, and this is an awesome series. What this collects is the Star Wars Dr. Aphra series from 2016, which is the original Dr. Aphra series, not to be confused with the one that's coming out this year in 2020, or was last year in 2020, ongoing in 2021. And this collects that original series, issues 1 through 40, Annual 1 to 3, Darth Vader 3 to 4, 8 and 21, Star Wars from 2015, 13, 19, 31 through 32, Star Wars The Screaming Citadel and material from Darth Vader 25 and Star Wars Empire Ascendant. Comes in at a whopping 1,240 pages, will be in stores Feb 24th and goes for $125 retail. Next up on the omnibus train we have the Uncanny X-Men Oh, why did I pronounce that so horribly? Let's try again. The Uncanny X-Men Omnibus, Volume 4. This is the silver variant cover, I believe. Uh, this is Chris Claremont and all the classic stuff. It collects Uncanny X-Men 176 through 193, X-Men Annual 8, Kitty Pride and Wolverine 1 through 6, X-Men and Alpha Flight 1 and 2, and material from Marvel Fanfare Number 40. In stores Feb 17th for a retail price of $125. Then we have X-Men by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee. This is the second Omni and this is a new printing. So I won't go through everything here, but if you missed out on the first printing, you can grab it now, Feb 24th for $125. Then we have the new Warriors Classic Omnibus. This is uh, volume one. It's also a new printing. So if you missed out, you can get this reprint, Feb 24th for $125. Another pick of the month. This is Conan the Barbarian. This is Jason Aaron. If you love this Thor run, this is kind of him remixing again into, you know, a bit of swords and sorcery and that kind of thing. This is a beautiful oversized hardcover. So it's the same size as an Omni, just a little bit thinner, a few less pages. This contains Conan the Barbarian from the 2019 run, issues 1 through 12, Feb 3rd for $34.99. Next we got Fantastic Four by Dan Slott. This is another oversized hardcover. This is a volume one. It collects Fantastic Four from 2018, one through 11, the Fantastic Four wedding special number one, and Fantastic Four number eight. Weighs in at 384 pages, in stores Feb 24th and goes for $39.99. Then we got another OHC. This is the Uncanny X-Men Disassembled. This contains Uncanny X-Men 1 through 10 from, 20, from 2018 by Kelly Thompson. Uh, comes out Feb 3rd for $34.99. Next up, we've got Spider-Man Craven's Last Hunt, the Marvel Select Edition. So this is where Marvel selects basically the best of the best. And this is what they chose for Spider-Man. It collects Web of Spider-Man 31 through 32, Amazing Spider-Man 293, 294, Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man 131 through 132. So that's the whole Craven Last Hunt story. This comes out Feb 3rd and goes for $24.99. Then we have a complete collection of Avengers by Jonathan Hickman. This is the third in this complete collection. Collects Infinity 1 through 6, New Avengers 8 through 12, and Avengers 18 through 23. In stores Feb 3rd for $44.99. Next up, looking into the Epic Collections, this is the first of the Luke Cage Epic Collections called Retribution. This is Archie Goodwin writing with uh, John Romita as a cover artist and George Zucker and a whole lot of other artists in, on the interiors. Collects Hero for Hire 1 through 16 and Power Man 17 through 23. In stores Feb 3rd for $39.99. Continuing on the epic collection trail, we have Morbius the Living Vampire. This collects Amazing Spider-Man 101 to 102, Marvel Tina, Team Up 3 to 4, Fear 20 to 26, Giant Size Superheroes 1, and material from Vampire Tales 1 through 8, and Giant Size Werewolf number 4. In stores Feb 10th and goes for $39.99. Again, staying on that epic train, we have X-Factor Genesis and Apocalypse. Some Roger Stern stuff here. I'm not going to continue to read through all the solicits. You can just pause here and read it for yourself if you want. But it collects a bundle of stuff because it is a large epic collection. 
Comes out Feb 10th for $39.99. Then we have Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky. This is the fifth trade paperback, Truth or Dare. And this collects the ongoing Daredevil 21 through 25 and the annual number one from 2020. This comes out Feb 17th and goes for $17.99. Next up, we have Scarlet Witch by James Robinson. This is a complete collection, and it collects Scarlet Witch from 2016, 1 through 15, as well as material from Doctor Strange, The Last Days of Magic. Comes out Feb 3rd for $34.99. Then we have Strange Academy First Class. This is a trade paperback, written this time, not drawn, but written by Scotty Young, who has uh, recently won an award at the Anglomé uh, French Comic Festival for his work on Middle West. So his writing is winning awards and is beautifully done in that series. So if you doubt that he can write as well as he can draw, don't doubt it. He does really well at that. The art is by Humberto Ramos. And this collects the first six issues of the ongoing series of Strange Academy. Comes out Feb 17th for $13.99. Next up, we have Spider-Man Bloodline trade paperback. This is J.J. Abrams with his son, Henry Abrams. And this collects the full mini series 1 through 5 from 2019 in stores Feb 24th for $17.99. Let's see what DC has for us. First of all, on the omnibus side of things, we have Superman by Grant Morrison, Volume 1. This collects Action Comics 0 through 18 and Action Comics Annual Number 1 in stores Feb 24th for $75. Then on the deluxe edition front, we have Superman Last Son by Jeff Johns. This collects Action Comics 844 through 846. 851, 866 through 870, and Action Comics Annual 11. Out on March 10th, which is weird because this is for February, but that's DC. Yay, they don't know how to do solicitations, so I've had fun putting this together, trust me. Hopefully it comes out in Feb for $49.99. Otherwise, be patient and get it in the first week or so of March. Next up, we have a expanded absolute planetary. This is everything including some extras so i'll read what it collects it collects planetary 1 through 27 planetary batman night on earth 1 planetary the authority ruling the world 1 planetary jla terra occulta number 1 the preview story from gen 1333 and the pinup from wildstorm a celebration of 25 years in stores feb 10th for 150 dollars next we have joker war this is the second in i believe the standard size hardcovers of the joker war uh, this collects the ending half of it, I believe. So this is um, Batman 95 through 100, out Feb 10th for $29.99. And on the topic of Joker War, I don't know why the solicits are so messed up and why they're doing separates. But, uh, I don't know, DC. Who knows anymore? This is Joker War Saga hardcover. So why would you collect the two individuals when you can get the whole thing in one? I don't know. I wouldn't, but you might. Or you could get this, which collects Batman 95 to 100, Batgirl 47, Detective Comics 1025, Red Hood and the Outlaws 48, Nightwing 74, The Joker War Zone 1, plus stories from Harley Quinn 75 and Catwoman 25. Feb 24th for $39.99. That price makes me think maybe it's oversized. But who knows again with DC? Yay, they don't really explain anything anymore. Then we have a hardcover version of Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. Looks like a standard size hardcover because it just collects four issues. Comes out Feb 24th for $24.99. I should mention it's got the legendary team of Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor on art. And I believe she does the art inside as well. And not just the covers. But don't trust me on that. It is also black label. So it might be one of those cool oversized hardcovers. Like Harleen. Which would be awesome. Next up we have X Machina Compendium number. two. Two, so this is the classic um, Brian K. Vaughan stuff back when it was published by Vertigo and Wildstorm. Uh, this is X Machina 26 through 50 and the X Machina special 3 to 4, Feb 24th for $59.99. Then we have the end of this Hawkman run by Robert Vendetti, I believe. This is the fourth trade paperback Hawks Eternal and it collects Hawkman 20 through 29 in stores Feb 10th for $19.99. Next we have Amethyst. This is the latest rendition of this character by Amy Reader and collects Amethyst 1 through 6. I remember this character from when I grew up and I got it for like 20 cents in some, I don't know, crazy back alley comic secondhand deal shop thing. And for some reason the character just stuck with me because I was poor as a kid and I probably read the comic like 20 times but still didn't know anything about the character. So I probably won't pick it up but it's still super nostalgic for me. Feb 17th, 
Next up we have Green Lantern's Circle of Fire. So this is Judd Winnick and this is a reprints of the Kyle Rayner run. So this collects Green Lantern 129 through 136, Green Lantern Firestorm 1, Green Lantern Adam Strange 1, Green Lantern Atom 1, Green Lantern Green Lantern 1, Green Lantern Green Lantern 1, really? Green Lantern Power Girl 1 and Green Lantern Circle of Fire 1 and 2, Feb 10th for 39.99. Then we have Crisis on Multiple Earths, Book 1, Crossing Over. So this collects uh, classic Justice League of America 21 through 22, 29 and 30, 37, 38, 46, 47, 55, 56, 64, 65, 73, 74, 76, 82, 83. Feb 3rd for 39.99 for this chunky classic trade. Let's see what Image Comics has for us. First of all, we have November hardcover volume 4. So this is Matt Fraction. Uh, this comes out Feb 24th for $16.99. Next up, uh, Pick of the Month, Scene of the Crime trade paperback by Ed Brubaker, Michael Locke, and Sean Phillips. This has been out of print for a long time. I don't think it's ever been printed in trade, and now it is. You can pick it up on Feb 17th for $16.99. Next, we have the Spawn Compendium Edition trade paperback, Volume 1. For the first time in full color, Todd McFarlane, Greg Capullo, and everyone else together, this collects, and it's big, Spawn 1 all the way through 50, Feb 24th for $59.99. Then we have something which a lot of people are saying is really, really good. If you want to find out and you've been waiting for trades, then this is the Department of Truth trade paperback, Volume 1. James Tinian and Martin Simmons. And because it's an image first trade, it covers the first five issues for the low price of $9.99 on Feb 24th. Then we have Lost Soldiers. Uh, which kind of flips between time through Vietnam in the 1960s through to Juarez in the 2000s. This collects Lost Soldiers 1 through 5, Feb 10th for $17.99. Next up, we have Write It in Blood, uh, another kind of crime noir kind of vibe uh, based in Texas, I believe. And this comes out Feb 24th for $14.99. Let's see what Dark Horse has for us. First of all, we have the World of Black Hammer Library Edition Hardcover Volume 2. Uh, this collects the Quantum Age and Black Hammer 45 in a deluxe oversized hardcover format with a new cover, sketchbook extras, and more. Feb 10th, $49.99. Next up, we have Beta the Immortal Deluxe Edition Volume 2. This is actually in my manga video, but I hopped in and threw it in here anyway because I know many Standard comic fans who don't read manga are getting into manga through these uh, deluxe editions from Dark Horse. So if you want it, here's the second one. Collects volumes 4 through 6, all in this beautiful oversized hardcover. And it comes with a ribbon, so now you have to buy it. March 17th, $49.99. I know, March, it's supposed to be February. Whatever, pick it up in March anyway. Next up, something that caught my eye. The Arts of the Mass Effect Trilogy Expanded Edition Hardcover. I love these games, I love the art and the character design as well, and I'm sure there's many of you that do as well, and Dark Horse does a great job of these art books, so this one really caught my eye. Comes out Feb 24th for $39.99. Next up we have Dragon Age First Five. This is a collection of apparently the first five graphic novels by a bunch of different people. So it collects Dragon Age A Silent Grove, Dragon Age Those Who Speak, Dragon Age Until We Sleep, Dragon Age Maid Killer, A Mage Killer, and Dragon Age Knight Errant. This comes out Feb 17th and goes to $29.99. Then another one of my pick of the months, this is Afterlift by Chip Zdarsky. First of all, this won an Eisner Award for Best Digital Series and I believe has never been in print, so if you haven't read it digitally now, you can grab it in print as a trade paperback. It collects the five issue series, comes out Feb 3rd for $19.99. Back to back pick of the month? What? I must be going crazy. No, I'm not. I'm going witchy. <laughs> that was horrible. Sorry. Anyway, this is The Witcher, which I love and I've read all the novels of. And this is the latest series, I believe. This is a trade paperback called Fading Memories, which collects the one through four series of The Witcher Fading Memories. Feb 17th, 1999. Then we have something that sounds really interesting. This is Burger Books, which is Karen Burger, who worked with uh, Vertigo back in the day. And this is called Post York. The polar ice caps have melted and New York City is flooded beyond recognition. That pretty much says it all. The cover says it all. 
Sounds pretty cool, I think. Feb 24th, 1799. Let's see what everyone else has for us. Boom, IDW, Oni, Cinebook, etc. First of all, something which no one knows. <laughs> Just joking. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the ongoing title, collection, hardcover, volume 12. Wow, I made a mouthful out of something that was simple. It's the 12th hardcover of TMNT. This collects a lot. I'm not going to read it all. You can pause and read it for yourself. Feb 10th, 5999. Staying with the classics, we have Transformers Phase 2 Hardcover Volume 12. This also collects a lot. You can also pause and also read for yourself if you want. Feb 10th, 5999. Then we have something which stuck in my head when I saw it the other day and I still think it's awesome. This is Ragnarok. This is the hardcover third edition by Walter Simonson. Sounds really cool if you're a fan of Thor and you want something that's not kind of Marvel canon but still goes with that kind of vibe, then I would suggest picking this up. Beautiful art, it looks really cool. Feb 17th, 24.99. Next up we have Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. And this is the journey into the Mondo Leviathan. That's a horrible murder of a pronunciation I just made, apologies. This collects Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, 9 through 12. Why didn't I just say that in the first place? Feb 17th, 24.99. And yet another pick of the month, this time from Cinebook, a European translation by the amazing, amazing French writer Xavier Dorisson. This is the Human Stock Exchange, Volume 1. What if humans were listed on the Stock Exchange? Find out on Feb 17th for 13.95. Next we have Disaster Inc. from Aftershock Comics. This is by Joe Harris and collects 1 through 5. Comes out Feb 24th for $16.99. Then we have The Lumberjanes, which is a well-loved series. This is already on volume 17. This is Smitten in the Stars and collects Lumberjanes 65 through 68 on Feb 3rd for $14.99. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like the likes and subscribe to the subscribes. And remember, stay perfect. See ya!